And welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. The Q1 results for Aduro Clean Technologies was uh, just released. Uh, we're going to jump in and, and share the news release uh, with you guys. I will provide links for you guys as well so you can uh, peruse the material uh, on your own. Um, this is uh, just under the wire prior to the secondary listing that is looming. Uh, and scheduled in the next couple of weeks. Uh, no guarantees on that, my friends. We are standing by uh, on that announcement for their secondary listing to NASDAQ, and we are currently tracking that progress as we speak. We will report out in due time uh, as that application is finalized, uh, and we turn the page to um, new beginnings with the DuroClean Technologies. We will uh, continue to report out on it. I expect that my next offering on the Independent Investor Channel will be focused on a DuroClean Technologies, uh, the new ticker symbol traded on NASDAQ under ADUR. So until then, we will continue to report out. This uh, should be the last reporting uh, from the OTC markets, uh, their old listing, which will go away. Uh, we will cease to exist any reporting out on the old um, markets. And we will focus on the uh, evolution of the company from a new beginning uh, on NASDAQ capital markets. Uh, the quarter was uh, a neutral quarter for me. Uh, it was business as usual for Aduro Clean Technologies. Uh, I'll give you some of my insights. I'll give you some of my reaction as we go through the numbers and the press release uh, that was just made uh, available to the forward-facing audience just a couple of days ago. So with that, guys, let's jump in and we'll take a look at the press release that was uh, released October 31st uh, for the Q1 quarter uh, 2025. So this is the press release for Aduro uh, reporting their fiscal quarter uh, Q1 2025 results here um, just prior to uh, a pending um, secondary listing here on NASDAQ. I, I found the timing of this uh, quite good. Uh, we're going to go over this uh, these results, which I was neutral on, um, as expected, all the way across the board. There was a few... Um, modest areas of focus here that stood out to me uh, on the financials. Uh, but this summary that was released uh, just a couple of days ago through adurocleantech.com really gives you the uh, appropriate summary, uh, certainly for you guys that are interested in reading, reading um, all of the financial statements. Those are um, available to you um, on the sec.gov. You can kick over there. Uh, pick up the uh, the the full uh, reporting uh, for the quarter, but um, business as usual here at Aduro, um, continuing to expand um, their R and D portfolio as well as some of the general and administrative, which was just one of those soft pockets that I saw was a slight increase uh, in the uh, overall uh, expenditures uh, year over year uh, sequentially uh, for the Q one quarter. Uh, going into the first quarter of the fiscal year here uh, for Aduro Clean Technologies. Uh, so I, I will skip the intro, guys. Um, I will leave a link to this press release, which really gives you the synopsis of, of what you need as a share owner uh, in the company, as well as uh, potentially uh, a would-be share owner in the company that is looking at the prospects of where Aduro is uh, in its evolution uh, as a company that looks to transform uh, the plastic recycling space and, uh, uh, you know, exciting times in the future, uh, but it is uh, worth it for us to highlight uh, what it is Aduro has provided color on with regard to the goings on in the uh, uh, 2025 Q1 um, uh, financials. So here we go with the highlights, uh, the quarterly revenue, 55000 uh, muted reaction from me, you know, this is a, a positive sign for me for the company to continue to generate some form of cost sharing uh, revenue through their customer engagement program. Um, and this you can look at in a couple of different lights. 
Uh, certainly, there will be people out there who look at this slight decrease quarter over quarter, or excuse me, year over year, uh, Q1 sequentially from 2024 uh, to now 2025 as a slight decrease of 6%. Um, this is a muted uh, uh, point in the highlights, one that does not move the needle at all for me outside of just uh, a proven continuation of what these guys are trying to do with bring people into their dossier of potential clients and uh, build those relationships with their current clients uh, through showcasing their technology. Every day that goes by, you guys, and every dollar that's spent on this um, uh, revenue that is immaterial to move uh, anything on the top line, okay? Uh, when, when we compare it to the operating cost, this is just the beginning, okay? So for a startup, we need to make sure that we're looking at Aduro Clean Technologies and the numbers that are declared through the lens of a startup and judge the company appropriately by that. And there's a few themes that I was able to uh, glean from the financials that have been emboldened over multiple years of covering this company. Number one, they are fiscally conservative in their application. I will repeat, they are fiscally conservative in their application. And I think that is absolutely prudent at this particular juncture in the company's evolution to Yes, continue to smartly expand in those categories that deserve expansion, but also to realize that I think we're a ways away here from actually getting uh, this commercial dream uh, of, of commercialization using the Adoro uh, technology um, uh, in, in, in practice. And I think Aduro needs to be provided that opportunity to continue to work with industry to uh, bring this technology to bear, uh, both both as quickly as possible for share owners, yes, but in the most responsible of, of manners uh, to continue to grow that top line, okay? So so the top line with the 55000 in the quarter really just provides uh, that the uh, model that they have now in their outreach is working. Uh, I will um, stand by for subsequent quarters to uh, see that uh, number grow over time. I'm bullish in the company, guys. So, you know, as the uh, the dossier is expanded and, and the company uh, engagement portfolio does expand, I, of course, expect that that number will uh, significantly e increase exponentially over the follow-on quarters, okay? So the loss from operations, $2.5 million, I, I spoke about that. The, the loss came from a couple of categories. Number one, R&D, they get a pass from me, certainly, and, and quite frankly, kind of a bullish nod. Uh, Aduro has all the freedom to continue to embolden that R&D budget as that is uh, paramount in uh, emboldening what these guys are trying to do. So a slight increase, nothing crazy, uh, from uh, Q1 of 2024 of around 400000 on the balance, excuse me, on the financial statement. So uh, nothing crazy there, uh, as well as um, a, a slight increase uh, of 400 on general and administrative costs. So that's where the two and a half uh, million uh, uh, came from uh, on the uh, financial statements uh, that you'll see there. Nothing crazy, you know, for a company that's valued at, you know, $130 million, the, these numbers are minuscule in the looming um, uh, monumental uh, achievements that this company has made uh, throughout the course of 2024 uh, and just sets us up for not only a, a fantastic finish to 2024 calendar year, but going into 2025 really sets us up for, for an exciting uh, new page and new chapter in this story that is Aduro Clean Technologies. Okay. Uh, PP&E uh, cost was $3.92 million, representing an increase of approximately $313,000 uh, over Q1 of 2025. Uh, very, very understandable there for the slight increase. Uh, and the company maintained a strong cash flow position. This is the key takeaway of $5.9 million. 
um, as of August 31 of 2024. So the company has a full year uh, financing and, and really shouldn't have to uh, go back to the markets. All of the the shares, the director shares and all of the um, uh, financing rounds and the share consolidation uh, that has happened here as of late with the company uh, it is done. And I expect that uh, those dollars will go to good use as those funds are, are raised and, and put in the bank for Aduro to uh, carry out some of these um, goals for 2025 that we'll, um, that we'll highlight now. So the 352, that was the uh, non um, the non-broker private placement. Um, so they were able to raise a few million dollars there absolutely helps in emboldening their bottom line. And then we all know they did issue uh, some more um, uh, shares there, uh, 2.7 uh, million shares of stock options to directors, offices, and employees. Uh, they deserve every bit of compensation that they get and then some for uh, providing and, and executing over the previous three years to get them where they are. Uh, so as, as a share owner in the company, I'm, I'm absolutely supportive of this. And, uh, you know, the continued evaluation on the separate management will uh, um, continue to be scrutinized at a high level, um, but they have done nothing but deliver on the goods uh, for for bringing us to where we are now uh, with a, 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 a very um, optimistic look into the future uh, on where Aduro could go from here, okay? Engaged in the uh, KCSA strategic communications, you guys can read about that. We all know about the 3.25 to 1 common share uh, consolidation that was to get the share count down uh, moreover the share price uh, to that minimum listing for uplisting to uh, the Nasdaq which I will not speak about in this particular video uh, but uh, stand by for rolls. We are just about close to closing down the chapter on what you see at the top there, um, ACTHF. They haven't changed it on their website. Uh, the ACTHD does not exist anymore, and we are pending elimination of ACTHF, and we will turn the page to ADUR, the new Ticker symbol for Aduro once the uh, secondary listing uh, takes effect here and we can start to report out on some of um, Aduro's plans to follow through on some of these initiatives. So you can see here some of those initiatives and the one that I want to highlight uh, most notably because most of the funds that are raised during the secondary listing to NASDAQ will go to the next generation process. And I'll just read this conducted semi industrial experiments uh, to finalize reactor configurations for the next generation process. Aduro aims to complete the NGP design by calendar year end. That is amazing uh, progress. Advancing its scale-up program and expanding its capabilities to expand collaborations within its customer engagement program. So fantastic news there. I thought that was the highlight right there. Nothing new, uh, but to have them uh, continue to highlight that as their strategic goal. Uh, now, as share owners, we know where the direction and where their um, uh, focus is for uh, this capital that's being raised by Aduro, both uh, through the private placement as well as uh, the uh, uplisting that is going to happen uh, here shortly. It's scheduled uh, within the uh, coming weeks. I don't want to say too much about it, but stay tuned as this, once the page uh, is turned, we will close the boat book on the uh, old uh, company traded on uh, OTC markets, and we will begin a new chapter of reporting out on the company uh, under a DUR on NASDAQ capital markets. Okay, so that's the press release. Again, I will provide a link in the description and in the comments section for you to come in and peruse this uh, latest press release uh, for the uh, fiscal Q1 2025 earnings report from Enduro Clean Technologies. All right, guys, so we've come out of the press release. Uh, what do you think?
Uh, was it uh, a good quarter, a bad quarter? Was it neutral in your mind? Uh, does it matter in what this company is trying to do? Uh, I think looking at the financials you in a, in a box would be a mistake in um, a, a assessing criteria uh, over a startup like Aduro Clean Technologies that quite frankly needs time. They need time. They need opportunity to continue to uh, leverage their opportunity to engage with new customers. They need that opportunity to work with a big industry that um, by, by all admission from Aduro is being received with open arms uh, in big industry. But as we all know, uh, things take time. And I, I think with this looming secondary listing to NASDAQ, if nothing else, this is going to force Aduro uh, onto the radar. It is going to force people to pay attention to this company. Uh, and, is, and it is going to embolden what we have been talking about for multiple years now on the channel, that this company is the real deal. Uh, they have the solution to make a big splash uh, in an ever-expanding problem with very few solutions to bear, uh, especially ones that support the uh, efficiency and cost-effective method uh, that the technology, the Duro Clean Technology supports. Guys, if you enjoy the content coming through, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you updated on new um, uh, information that is made available. Uh, as there are many moving parts that are up in the air right now, we need to continue to stay vigilant and continue to monitor the landscape as Aduro uh, is uh, approaching this looming date of um, uplisting, uh, secondary listing to, to NASDAQ. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video, my friends, and thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video. And as always, good luck in your investment future. <music>